Imagine a clock that runs faster when you're having fun and slower when you're bored. Well, your brain kind of does that. Time measurement isn't as straightforward as ticking seconds. For instance, did you know that the ancient Egyptians divided the day into 10 hours plus an extra hour for dawn and dusk? Their hours weren't fixed. They stretched and shrank with the seasons. Picture hours as stretchy rubber bands instead of rigid blocks. Another quirky fact, the French Revolution birthed the French Republican calendar, slicing the day into 10-hour blocks, each hour with 100 minutes and each minute with 100 seconds. It was like time itself went decimal on us. Imagine trying to explain that to your watch. Then there's the leap second, a mysterious extra second added occasionally to sync atomic clocks with Earth's rotation, which is slowing down ever so slightly. That's right, our planet isn't keeping perfect time. It's a cosmic slowpoke. And here's a mind bender. A day on Venus lasts longer than its year. So, if you lived there, your birthday would come before your day ends. Time measurement is a wild ride full of surprises and human creativity. So next time you glance at a clock, remember, it's not just about numbers ticking by. It's a story of culture, science, and the very nature of reality. What if time itself is just a human invention and the universe ticks to a rhythm we've barely begun to understand?